Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Tomcat Stitchery. I'm Whitney and I have kind of a, a video I haven't done in a while for you today. Okay, so um, if you follow the channel for any length of time, you know that I really get into some thrifting and I have a good buddy, my friend Jenny, who you've met on the channel before. I'll pop actually a video up to that, a link up to that video um, above where we did a thrifting haul and talked about thrifting on the channel. Um, anyway, I uh, have not done any since February. So before COVID, pre-COVID, our thing was we would love to go on the first Saturday of the month because that um, in our area is when our Goodwills do half price Saturday. Um, it's always a madhouse and it's kind of fun to get in there and dig and we've gave some tips in that um, previous video I just mentioned in that about how to kind of do that. Um, and then our, her youngest daughter and my daughter are the same age and they're good buddies. So. Um, it had then evolved into us taking our daughters with us. So it would be a day of thrifting and then we would end it with a, um, like around one or so with Starbucks. So that was kind of our thing. And the last time we went was February, the beginning of February, um, because I can't remember why we didn't do March, but then COVID hit. <laughs> and obviously we've not been doing any, I've not done a single bit of thrifting since then. So needless to say, as we are approaching the school year, I don't know, I, I'm sure I'm not alone, just struggling with trying to, um, you know, the beginning of the school year is kind of a new beginning and it's a time to, you know, go through your closets and, and um, either purge or, um, you know, get things ready for the changing of seasons, that kind of stuff. And it just hasn't felt like that this year. Number one, school still being so up in the air, we still haven't gone back, uh, um, like at all, like virtually nothing. Um, Anyway, uh, but that, yeah, it's just all, I, I was looking for some normalcy. <laughs> anyway, if you're following along, actually, you will have not seen it yet because it'll be the vlog that goes up tomorrow. But I went through and I take you on the vlog through going through my closet and I'm making some decisions, not only on things that I'm just not wearing that I wanted to get rid of, um, or um, I sent some stuff to my cousin and that kind of thing. But I did piece out some things out of my fall wardrobe just to put up in my guest room closet. Things that I just don't think I'm gonna wear much this fall just because of the nature of um, not leaving the house very much, um, just because of COVID. So um, anyway, in that, I had a, um, well, I, I didn't actually didn't have that much that I had purged from my closet, but throughout COVID, I've done quite a few um, purging things of different parts of my house, you know, like the linen closet, the, you know, my daughter's room. Um, there's just been bits and bobs. I've just kind of gone through my house and did, done some reorganization. So I did have some things that needed to go to Goodwill um, to be donated. And so I, um, as I finished that on the vlog, my friend Jenny happened to text me and say, um, I've been bad and I am at one of our, we go to two locations of Goodwills. She was at one of them uh, on the west side of town. And uh, she's like, what are you, she's like, there's not much here. What are you doing right now? And I was like, actually, I just finished cleaning out my closet and I need to go to Goodwill just to drop things off. You know, what if we accidentally went inside? So long story short, we ended up, we grabbed our daughters and masked up heavy on the hand sanitizer um, and we went to the other Goodwill and dropped, uh, you know, donated my stuff that I needed to donate and then went in and uh, there was hardly anyone in there really, which was kind of nice and it was a little picked over, um, but I got some good stuff and I'm going to share that with you today. It's been a while since I've done a thrift haul and uh, yeah, I'm excited to share what I got. All right. So let's dig in. So I got myself one, two, three, four tops. I bought myself four tops. I bought my daughter a top and a dress. Um, she has already gotten, in fact, she's wearing the top today. So, um, and the dress is already, you know, in her closet and stuff. So I'm not gonna show you that guys that stuff, um, but I love that she's catching the bug. <laughs> but let's, um, yeah, let me show you what I got. And then I have something fun at the bottom that I also got. All right, so one of the perks of having my colors done at the beginning of January is that not only does it make sewing for myself easier because it makes it easier to pick out fabrics, I'm not nearly as overwhelmed, especially when fabric stores that I like are having uh, fabric sales. I'm able to just kind of go through quickly and see if there's anything in my color palette, number one, and then I can kind of weed through if there's anything I need or want. Um, it just makes it just so much easier to do any of that kind of stuff. I, again, I'm just not nearly as overwhelmed as I used to be. But um, it also makes, not, I don't shop for myself hardly at all, maybe for accessories occasionally, but I do love to thrift and I will buy some ready to wear stuff for myself from the thrift store. So um, 
and this is case in point. So we were going through the racks, and I love a good striped top. You guys know that as well. Oh, stripes. Um, love a good striped top, but um, we were going through, and there was a really nice cotton red and white striped uh, just t-shirt, and I held it up, and I was like, okay, what do we think? I happened to be wearing my red um, Sunday romper at the time, which is my red. It's kind of a red that goes, a tomato red. It goes orange a little bit, and my friend Jenny's like, nope, too cool. The red's too cool, and um, and I was like, yes, you know, that that is that is helpful. So then as I went through a little bit, I came across this very simple, it's a J. Crew shirt, um, uh, three quarter length, it's a little longer than three quarter length, like probably like, you know, right here, uh, bracelet length maybe a little bit. Just kind of a boxy, 100% cotton, um, very easy breezy uh, top. And this is my red, so I don't know if you can kind of tell, but it's like a, a tomato red. So I'm like, perfect, it's in my size, it fits me well, um, it looks, it's in good condition, you know, it doesn't look worn, um, you know, that's the thing, checking the fabric, make sure it's not too bobbly or pill, you know, pilled. Um, this one looked fantastic, and again, it's a, a J. Crew top. So, um, very excited about this one. I think this one would be very good for um, white jeans as the weather starts to cool a little bit, definitely with some white shorts. And then as we get into the winter, um, actually this would be adorable under like a navy blue blazer. Um, I actually I put my blazers up in the guest room closet. I just don't know that I'm going to be wearing those much this fall um, since really I get out occasionally for appointments, like doctor's appointments if I have one, um, you know, like eye doctor appointment, dentist, that kind of thing. And other than that, it's grocery shopping, but no one can see your face anyway. <laughs> so blazers went to live up in the guest room closet for now. All right, so that was top one. And then I came across this other knit top, which um, navy is in my palette. This is so cute. I had this on yesterday. And it is in fantastic condition. It's this V-neck striped top. But look, as you go down, look, the stripes get skinnier and there's a pale blue at the bottom. It is so cute on. And then the sleeves, they hit like um, elbow length. They're uh, elbow length sleeves, but they have this cute little ruffle on them. You can see like the gathering there. The neckline is gorgeous on it. And then, look at the back. There's a cute little button placket that goes down the whole length of the back with these little ice blue buttons. I just thought that was adorable. It's a charter club. That brand sounds familiar. Is that maybe, is that maybe Sam's maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Why does that sound familiar? JCPenney? It sounds familiar. <laughs> but, um, or maybe that's a like a Macy's or something? I don't know. Anyway, it is a very nice knit. It is a very thick cotton knit. Um, obviously, I washed all this stuff when I first brought it home. But yeah, I had this one on yesterday. It needs to go back into the wash. Um, it is so cute on. With the different widths of stripes. It's just really cute top. Um, and I think... It, there was no sales going on other than, I think, anything with a... If you go to Goodwill, um, you'll, everything has a different colored tag, and it's kind of when it came in, like when it came into the store. And so each day of the week is a different color. So I think Friday was green. Uh, I think that was right. So anything that had a green tag was 50% off. And I think I had a couple of green tags in this. I just can't remember what which one was which. So those would only be... Um, $2.25. The rest of my tops were $2 or $4.50. I just can't remember what was what, but I did have some green tags. All right, and then I came across this Ralph Lauren 100% um, silk twill button down shirt. My guess is that this is from the 90s because it's pretty boxy and it's pretty long. It's a size medium, it's my size, it's just your standard button-up shirt. It's just super long. Anyway, I held it up um, and my friend, I was like, oh, you know, like, would I wear this? You know, it's, it's a creamy white, which is my neutral. It's got black in it, which I don't, I mean, as a little stripe, I don't think that that bothers me that much. Uh, but my friend Jenny was like, you know, I held it up and it fits me really well. Um, but it is oversized. And she's like, well, why don't you wear it as a night shirt? I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. <laughs> yes! Yes! An oversized um, shirt is basically a night shirt. And it's silk, 100% silk. It's in fantastic condition. I washed and dried it. Um, and it washed up great. Uh, there was a couple of stains. Um like right on the placket that book came out with a wash and a dry um, because you don't have to dry clean your silk folks I do have an extra 
thread there that's hanging on. Um, but yes, I was like, oh my gosh, that's genius. And this will be great for when the weather gets cold um, to wear that as a nightgown, because I sleep in nightgowns anyway, but I thought that was a fantastic um, idea. And then I thought, I don't know, like maybe if I'm feeling spunky, I could just layer it over leggings or something. Or I guess I could tie it up. It's just kind of thick. It's a thick silk twill, so tying it up would be like at the waist or whatever, would be a little um, thick. But anyway, very excited about that one. And again, the stains came right out. All right, this one took some convincing of my friend Jenny. So, um, and it, this has a funny story. Okay, so this is a silk, a vintage silk blouse, and it actually, it buttons. I just don't have it buttoned right now. It buttons down the front. This totally kind of reminded me of the Seinfeld episode with the puffy shirt. <laughs> Do you guys remember that Seinfeld episode? Um, I kind of totally felt that way with this top. Um, it is, again, 100% silk. It is in my color palette. This teal is 100% my color palette. And then it's got these, um, the bottom of the sleeves where it's got like a band here and then it's got like a little ruffle. That also made me think of the puffy shirt from Seinfeld. Um, anyway, this fits and it fits me really well. And I had it on, I was trying it on once I got home. They don't have any of the dressing rooms open right now at Goodwill. And I'm like, well, I think it could be cute in a pair, like tucked into a pair of like high-waisted jeans. Um, anyway, I was doing some research for another video that will be coming up and I was on Netta net a porte net a porter net a porte which is a website for like designer clothes i mean like high-end designer clothes and i came across literally this blouse it was in a cream color and then the ruffle at the bottom by the hand was more was more dramatic it like went over her hands which why would why would anyone wear that top how would you be able to do anything but um Anyway, I was like, oh my gosh, that is literally the shirt that I just wore. And the best part is that shirt on Net-A-Porte Net was um, $675. And it was on sale for uh, $300 or $278, something like that. It was this shirt. It was it just in an ivory as opposed to like a cream color white. Um, but it was silk, same thing. It was the same shirt. Um, Anyway, I was like, yeah, that is so hilarious, number one. Now, I'm not entirely sold on the ruffles across my, my chest um, right here, but the V-neck does help give me more skin there to where it's not quite so booby. Um, but I think I'm going to, I've pinned it. Actually, I'll show you a picture of the shirt right here from Net-A-Porter, net a -Porter, whatever, how you pronounce it. Um, but, yeah, looking at and I'm like, okay, well, I'll just style it like they did and it is a drop shoulder like the shoulders do come off it's a size medium it's my it's it fits me fine um I think that's just the nature of it you know it's kind of gathered there anyway it's totally vintage though I mean just looking at the tag I could tell um but yeah my teal silk blouse I'm so excited about that one and it was like birds were singing when I found when I found that inspiration picture I was like oh my gosh and I got mine for Let's say, I don't know if that was one of the ones with the tags, but worst case scenario for $4.50. So, win for me. Okay, now, for the first time in Goodwill history, I found fabric yardage. We were in there, and there was, I do see sewing machines um, pop up occasionally there at that location. It's the location that's actually on the um, east side of town, of our town. But, um... They have the, you know, sewing machines that'll go down into a table, basically. You'll see those pop up, and sometimes other sewing machines, older ones usually, though, like usually the good ones. Like, if you can take the time to get those uh, fixed up and cleaned up, they're probably going to be, um, you know, if they can be, work great. Anyway, there was a sewing machine there. I didn't buy it. Um, it was $30, and I had to totally restrain myself. I just, it was in a cabinet. I just don't have room for that. Um, and I've got enough sewing machines right now. <laughs> But anyway, um, I think maybe all of this came from the same person. I found a couple of sewing patterns. Um, nothing. There was like two, and, and neither of them were anything I wanted. But um, that was also the first time I found sewing patterns in a Goodwill. I never find sewing patterns at my Goodwill. So I was going through the um, sheets and blankets and curtains section. So if you're at your own Goodwill, that's where the fabric yardage will be if there is any. Um, and you could totally use uh, vintage sheet. I mean, you could use thrifted sheets and stuff. I actually use those a lot for muslins um, and curtains and that kind of thing. But um, I found actual yardage. And let me show you. So I don't know if it came from the same person or what, but let me show you what I got. Okay. Number one, I got, look at the color. It's corduroy. Look at that color. It is like a rusty 
but more red than orange. Um, corduroy, like a fine whale corduroy. There's no stretch in it. I have a yard and a half of it. And it's been cut into. I have it folded kind of weird. I mean, it's been, you know, cut into for something. Uh, but I have a yard and a half. And I think that there is a possibility I could get a pair of pants out of this. Like a pair of skinny jeans. And I found a pair at Bowdoin that I loved that I think I could recreate with, um, I don't know. I need to play around with some of my non-stretch jean patterns and see what I can um, create with a skinny leg. Maybe even the Eddie Stones, the itch to stitch that I made. I still need to adjust the rise on the, that pattern, but I think that I could make the legs just a little bit skinnier and it would still work. Um, but anyway, so excited about that. So a yard and a half of that. Um, I have a yard and a half of this. This is polyester. Um, I was actually on the fence. I couldn't tell. Sometimes I have a hard time with taffetas and with Dubioni's feeling the difference, especially if it's a, a better quality polyester, uh, feeling the difference. But it was $1.99 and I thought, well, you know, even if it is polyester, I'll use it for a lining for something. It is polyester, but I have a yard and a half of it and it's this beautiful gold color. I think that would make a fantastic jacket lining or coat lining. Um, and I'm sure I've got enough there. So that's been washed. Then I found two and a half yards of this rayon and this is a nice, thicker rayon. It's, um, I guess it would be, I would call this a rayon poplin, less of a rayon chalet, um, cause it's just a little bit thicker. It's more along the lines of that rayon batik that I used for my, um, let's see, I made a dress out of it and then I also made a Rhapsody out of it, short sleeve Rhapsody. But isn't that fun? My friend Jenny said it looked very old lady, <laughs> but I took that as, um, a challenge that I'm going to make. I, in fact, I think there's a seamwork dress that I've been kind of wanting to make for the fall. Um, cause I, I'm in, looking for some comfy dresses that I can wear easily. Um, you know, working from home, um, like the rest of us, but still feel put together, but I just love the colors. So it's kind of a, um, Oh, aubergine maybe like it's definitely goes purple, like a dark purple, but there is some red in there. Um, so it's, it's in my color palette completely. Anyway, love that. This one bled like crazy when I washed it. Thank goodness for the color catchers. I wasn't surprised by that. Okay, then I found three yards of this boucle. Look at the colors in that, folks. Actually, that um, uh, polyester that I grabbed could totally work for this. These are like so many of my colors. And I don't know if you're gonna be able to see but there is like a mustardy, like a, almost a um, mustard, but kind of goes orange like thread in there. Can you see that? Um, there is a little bit of black, but not a lot. And then there's kind of a cranberry color and then a cocoa brown and then a little bit of pink um, that kind of goes in there. But I have three yards of this. And as we were standing there, my friend Jenny, she's like, oh my gosh, I love this. You have to get this. This is going to need, I think I am going to dry clean this. I don't normally dry clean my yardage, but because it came, I don't know where it came from. Um, I mean, I was able to wash everything I just showed you, but I, I when I, I took a few things to the dry cleaner um, clothing items that I needed to take in, um, I, I wanted my cashmere sweat, sweaters to be refreshed a little bit. Um, anyway. I asked about yardage and she thought that yes, her manager wasn't there, but she thought that yes, that they would do that. But I'm gonna pop a picture of this cabbie jacket up. So um, my friend Jenny immediately, she's like, oh my gosh, I was just looking at the cabbie catalog for fall. You need to make this. I'm like, oh my gosh, I could totally make that. Um, anyway, so I gotta find a pattern now. So I love the French. Can you tell that that's like French? So they've just fringed the whole bottom of that jacket. It's like a short kind of wool trench wool coat and then it's fringe from the bottom. I just think that that's, that can be really fun. So there is that, three yards of that. And again, I think I paid $5 or $4.99 for this, $1.99 for each of those three that I just showed you. I think this was $4.99 and then this was $6.99. And folks, I got four yards of this wool suiting. Look at that, isn't that beautiful? And it's definitely manly, but it's like a, a, it's a blue, I mean there's navy in there and there's a little bit of like, um, like dark navy, maybe even black, and then more of like a mid navy, and then the background is like a teal. Like it definitely is like a blue that goes green. I have four yards of this and I paid $7 for it. 
and it is beautiful. It's a beautiful wool suiting. And there were a few more things that were there. Um, there was some home deck fabric, I think, that was yardage. Uh, and there was a couple more um, polyester blend fabric fabrics um, that were there as well that I passed on. Number one, they weren't my colors, and um, I just didn't like the feel of them. But I totally grabbed all those. I spent $45 on all of that, plus a shirt and a dress for my daughter that she picked out. So um, not as good as my half price Saturdays because um, I can usually get out of there usually $35 and under with a ton of stuff. But I am so over the moon with this fabric. And it's the first time I found fabric at my Goodwill. So it was a very, very exciting day. Um, anyway, and it was just good to get out and feel a little bit like normal. I mean, we were all masked up, obviously. Um, we always hand sanitize a lot when we do our Goodwill um, shopping. Uh, so it was different, but it still felt a little bit more normal, um, which I think is important just to have just a few things that are just a little bit. I mean, I know nothing can be completely normal yet, but um, it definitely helped. So that's all I have to share with you guys today. All right. I hope you enjoyed my thrift haul. It's been a while since I've been had a chance to do that. Um, Friday, I've been doing a lot of research on Friday's video, and um, I think it's going to go up on Friday, but I'm going to be talking about, um, and I haven't decided on a number yet either, so I can't <laughs> give you too much information, but basically work from home pieces that should be in everyone's closet. So uh, silhouettes um, of work on, and I'm going to be putting a whole bunch of patterns, um, or not a whole bunch, multiple patterns for each piece of clothing um, to give you some ideas of different patterns that you could use to kind of recreate that. Um, since so many people are working from home, and a lot of these too, with just a, a tweak of accessories or an addition of a blazer or something like that, you could very easily go from working at home to an office if your office has opened back up and you are you can go back in. So uh, that's going to be Friday's video. I've had a lot of time, a lot of fun researching that. Um, yeah, you know, because, I mean, I do work from home. I work from home normally, even without <laughs> there being a pandemic. But I just really like the idea of um, forcing myself to dress every day, especially right now, just to make myself feel more put together and just to feel better. Um, so anyway, I thought that would be a fun vid video to do. Um, and right now it's eight pieces of essential pieces for your uh, work from home wardrobe. And then I'll list patterns for each piece. Um, that you can kind of get an idea or choose from or whatever. But I may be adding two more categories on there, two more pieces, so we'll see. <laughs> all right, that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. Um, have a good week. Hope you get some sewing in there, and I will see you tomorrow for the weekly vlog. Bye! Bye!